this theorem is known as leibniz test so leibniz test for convergence of an alternating series the statement of this theorem is if sequence un is positive and decreasing and limit of un as n tends to infinity is zero then the alternating series minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into un converges that is the statement says that the sequence un must satisfy three conditions the first one is the sequence un must be positive the second condition is the un the sequence un is a decreasing sequence the third one is the limit of nth term of the sequence as n tends to infinity must be zero then the alternating series minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into un converges generally we take the nth term of the alternating series as minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into un or if the alternating series Minus one to the power n minus one into u n. U n is greater than zero for all n belong to n. That means u n is positive. U n is positive such that u n plus one is less than or equals to u n for all n. That is. the given sequence is a decreasing sequence seven sequence is a decreasing sequence and limit of un as n tends to infinity is zero third condition then the series converges let us prove this statement to prove this let us consider sn Equals to u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 plus o1 plus minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into u n. What is S n? S n is a partial sum, or we say the first n terms of the given series. Now consider S two n. What is S two n? It is also a partial sum, but it consists of first two n terms of the given series. That is, S two n is equal to u one minus u two plus u three minus u four so on plus u two n minus one minus u two n. This S two n can be written as S two n is equal to u one minus u two minus u three. That is, from u minus u two plus u three, we are taking minus sign out. When you take minus sign out, then this can be written as minus of u two minus u three plus the next two terms are minus u four plus u five. Take minus sign out. Therefore, minus u four minus u five plus o one minus u two n minus two minus u two n minus one minus u two n minus u two n. That is, yes, two n is grouped as. U one minus of U two minus U three minus U four minus U five minus so on minus U two n minus two minus U two n minus one minus U two n. U n is positive and decreasing. Therefore, U two is greater than U three. This implies u two minus u three is greater than zero. That is a positive value. This is a positive value. Similarly, similarly, 
every term within the bracket is positive value that is u2 minus u3 is positive u4 minus u5 is positive u2n minus 2 minus u2n minus 1 is positive so every term is positive this is positive this is positive this is positive this u2n also positive and we are removing all these positive values therefore s2n is less than u1 i shall now show that how s2n is less than u1 we know that s2n is equals to u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus so on plus u2n minus 1 minus u2n let us take n equal to 3 therefore s2n becomes s2 into n n is 3 that is s 2 3 is 6 s6 so s2n becomes s6 then what is the last term of S2n? U2n. What is the value of U2n? That is equals to U2 into n is 3. So 2, 3 are 6. So the last term of S2n is U6. Therefore, S2n becomes now S6 equals to U1 minus U2 plus U3 minus U4 plus U5. The last term is u6, therefore minus u6. Since un is decreasing, the value of u2 will be less than u1. The value of u3 will be less than u2. U value of u4 will be less than u3. Value of u5 will be less than u4. Value of u6 is less than u5. Therefore, let us take u1 is 15, u2 is 40, u3 is 30 u4 is 20 u5 is 10 and u6 is 5 see here the values are decreasing that is the sequence un is decreasing since you have taken these values s6 will be 25 let us check it now x6 is u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 plus u5 minus u6 now let us substitute the values of u1 to u6. That is 50 minus 40 plus 30 minus 20 plus 10 minus 5. If you simplify this, we have here 50 plus 30, 80, 80 plus 10 is 90. Here minus 40 minus 20, that is minus 60 minus 65. So 90 minus 65 is 25. That is the equation is valid. Therefore, S6 is 25. Now, uh, in the theorem, we have grouped the term like this. That is S2n is equals to U1 minus of U2 minus U3 minus of U4 minus U5 so on minus of u2n minus 1 minus u2n minus 1 minus u2n. Therefore, in the same way, we are going to group these values. That is, look at this here. u1 is 50. u2, u3 will be in brackets. So here, minus 40 plus 30. We are taking minus sign out. Therefore, it is 40 minus 30. From these two, take minus sign out. So minus 20 minus 10 minus 5. This is also satisfied. Now look at this. Every term within the bracket is positive. 40 minus 30 is 10. Positive. 20 minus 10 is 10. Positive. Now I want to drop all the positive values. That is 40 minus 30. 20 minus 10. Even the 5. We are going to eliminate all these values. If you eliminate. If you delete. All these values, what will be having now? We have a left hand side 25, right side only 50. Now, what is the relation between 25 and 50? Is it equal? Or is it less than? Or it is greater than? We know that 50 is greater than 25. Therefore, we write 25 is less than 50. What is 25? 25 is S6. Therefore, it is S6. What is 50? 50 is U1. That is, S6 is less than U1. 
thus implies what is s6 since you are taking n equal to 3 s6 is nothing but s2n s2n therefore s2n is less than u1 thus s2n is less than u1 therefore s2n is a sequence bounded above by u1 so this implies the sequence s2n is bounded above by u1 that is s2n less than u1 implies the sequence s2n is bounded above by u1 also let us consider s2n plus 2 that is equals to u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 so 1 plus u2n minus 1 minus u2n plus u2n plus 1 minus u2n plus 2 if you see that suffix 2 even number suffix 4 even number that is in the given series every term whose suffixes are even number having minus sign see u2 having minus sign u4 having minus sign u6 having minus sign therefore this u2n plus 2 is even number must have minus sign u2n is a even number must have minus sign and hence s2n plus 2 is u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus u4 so on plus u2n minus 1 minus u2n plus u2n plus 1 minus u2n plus 2 again let us consider the first 2n terms of the sequence s2n plus 2 that is s2n plus 2 is equals to this is the first 2n terms of the given series that is u1 minus u2 plus u3 minus o1 plus u a u2n minus 1 minus u2n plus u2n plus 1 minus u2n plus 2 now this implies s suffix 2n plus 2 is equals to whatever written in red color is nothing but s2n s2n therefore that is equal to s2n plus u2n plus 1 minus u2n plus 2 now transposing s2n to the left hand side therefore we get s2n plus 2 minus s2n is equals to u2n plus 1 minus u2n plus 2 which is positive which is positive as we are shown here which is positive because u2n plus 1 is greater than u2n plus 2 that implies that implies S2n plus 2 minus S2n is greater than 0. That is S2n plus 2 minus S2n is greater than 0. Now bring this S2n to the right hand side. Therefore S2n plus 2 minus S2n greater than 0 becomes s 2 n plus 2 greater than s to n s to n it is true for all n belong to n that is the sequence s to n is monotonically increasing monotonically increasing since the given sequence u n is positive and decreasing its subsequence namely S2N is monotonically increasing and bounded above by U1. Therefore, the subsequence S2N converges to L. We know that a monotonically increasing sequence which is bounded above must converge. Therefore, this S2N is here 
monotonically increasing sequence which is bounded above by u1 therefore the sequence the subsequence s to n converges to l when you say converges to l it means limit of the sequence is l that is limit of s to n as n tends to infinity is l let us call it as 1 what is given the third condition of the statement is limit of u n as the n tends to infinity is 0 whenever the nth term as the nth term infinity is 0 the 2nth term is also 0 as the nth term infinity therefore limit of u n as the nth term infinity equal to 0 implies limit of u 2 n as the nth term infinity is 0 let us call it as 2 clearly s yes, 2 n is Yes, two n minus one minus u two n. This is the one we know. We already discussed. Yes, two n is equal to u one minus u two plus u three minus so on plus u two n minus one minus u two n. The first two n minus one term is nothing but yes, two n minus one. Therefore, yes, two n is equal to yes, two n minus one minus U to n. So from this, let us transposing minus u to n to the left hand side. Therefore, it becomes s to n minus one equals to s to n plus u to n. Now taking limit. Therefore, limit of s to n minus one as n tends to infinity is equals to limit of s to n. Plus limit of u to n. Now, what is the value of limit of s to n? By equation one, limit of s to n as n tends to infinity is l. What is the value of limit of u to n as n tends to infinity? By equation number two, it is equal to zero. Therefore, limit of s to n is l. Plus limit of u to n is zero, so l plus zero is l. It is from one and two. Therefore, the subsequence s to n minus one also converges to l. Already we have shown that the subsequence s to n converges to l. Now the subsequence s to n minus one also converges to l. Hence. The sequence S n converges to L. Whenever the sequence S n, namely sequence of partial sum, converges to L, the given sequence must converge. Therefore, and hence the series minus one to the power n minus one U n converges.